Ham Radio 2.0, good afternoon. This one, this video today is going to be an unboxing of the TYT TH350, a new tri-band analog FM transceiver from TYT. Here on the front of the box, it's got tri-band, tri-display, and tri-standby. 128 channels, that's kind of weak for a tri-band radio. It's only got 128 channels. The Waxon UV8 Echo had 999 channels in it. Now, the receiver on that one, you know, I did a review on that one when it first came out, and I really liked the radio. The 8 Delta, the dual band, was a fantastic radio. I still got mine in there, but I just never could. The, the 8 Echo had a lot of birdies in it, and after I used it for a couple of months, after I recorded the unboxing video, I just got to wear, you know, I just don't like this radio. Unboxing is pretty eventless, as you might imagine. Got a manual programming cable. I don't remember if it came with that or if I had to ask for that separately. Antenna, desk charger, and the radio itself, which is right here. There's a belt clip. There is a, there's a second antenna underneath the insert that is a, a whip antenna. So it comes with two antennas. There's a belt clip down there and blah, blah, blah. It's kind of, uh, I mean, it looks like a box. I love the guys that comment on my videos. Oh, well, I didn't really want to watch an unboxing, so I didn't watch your video when all I do is talk about the unboxing. I don't actually do it. Here is the display. I have programmed some channels into it that are local repeaters right there. You can see the display, but that is the display. The top, uh, the top repeater there is a two meter Hurst repeater. The middle repeater is the uh, 220 Rostin repeater, and the bottom one is the 440 N5AOC grapevine repeater. I'll get a close up here in a minute, go through the menus, show you guys the menus. Kind of a very basic looking menu. There's nothing, there's nothing special about this at all. Roger B. It's got a Roger B. Woohoo! Took a minute to go through the menu. Like I said, the menu is kind of basic looking, which uh, I'll get a close up of that here in just a second. KC5 HWB testing. Okay, so I'm hitting the 440 repeater which is just right over there. The programming by hand is kind of weird. Again, it came with a programming cable. I do not have the software at this point in time. You can probably download it from tyt888.com or at least you will be able to. I looked for it yesterday and I couldn't find it. It might be there by now or maybe by the time this video airs. KC5 HWB test. No, it's not hitting Hurst. I'm too far away. So behind the battery, it has an FCC stamp on the battery, on the radio, I should say. It has a serial number and the, the TYT Electronics logo, and then it has a QR code to scan for verification. It is probably in process of being type accepted, which is usually the way they do it before the before a new model comes out. So they've got it stamped like it's type accepted. They don't actually have the FCC type acceptance number written on here, but they've got the logo, they've got the serial number, and then they've got the QR code which uh, says scan for verification underneath it. So they make it look like it's type accepted. Let's see. And 220, band 224800, I think is Arlington. I'm going to put that one on there. And we'll go into menu. KC5 HWB testing, one, two, three. Nope. Okay, so it's not hitting. There's not a close 220 repeater in this area. So I, I'm not, you know, real surprised that I'm not hitting this from an HT inside of the ham shack here. So let me show you guys what this screen looks like. This video is sponsored by realestateforlife.org. If you are looking to move to a warmer climate or just a more family-friendly environment area, contact realestateforlife.org to talk to one of their 1,400 conscientious real estate advisors and financial advisors across the U.S. and Canada. Realestateforlife.org supports both Ham Radio 2.0 and it supports U.S. veterans. So go to realestateforlife.org and be sure to tell them that Ham Radio 2.0 sent you. Thank you, realestateforlife.org, for supporting this channel. In order to go into the menu, obviously the menu takes you into the menu. And you see this is a very basic looking menu. Everything's on a different menu. There's a small number in the top right corner there where you can see the menu number. And that's menu one menu 30 so it's got 30 options in the menu here's how to program it i'm just going to do a how to program real quick so a 220 repeater is uh 1.6 megahertz offset usually with a minus offset in this area 
and uh, all pretty much all the repeaters around here are 110.9 uh, CTCSS tones. So we're going to go to in the menu. We can hit the up down arrows to switch menus in here, or I can just turn the knob on top. This one right here, difference, is your offset. So if I wanted to change that, I would hit enter, and you see the arrow pop down there in the bottom left corner, and then I, I have to type type this in. 05, if it was a 5 megahertz offset, or I could do 0, 1, 6, and then to hit enter does nothing, which it makes sense if you hit enter, that would do it, but actually if you hit menu, you'll notice the arrow goes away. And then you change, come back to it, and it's still there. S slash D is your separation or your offset menu. I'm sorry, menu. Hit enter to go into it. The arrow pops down there in the bottom left. I can go no offset, minus, or positive offset. So if I want to do a plus offset on a uh, 440 repeater or something. So I hit menu, arrow goes away, and stays on negative. So that's those are menus uh, 26 and 27. And then to set the actual PL tone, or C CTCSS, we're just going to do the transmit side. This was a little bit tricky. This is what I had to look in the menu for. So we hit enter, the uh, arrow pops up, and I can change this. But, but when it was saying off before, like this right here, let's go this one. I hit enter, I turn this and nothing happens. I hit this and nothing happens. So what you have to do is you have to go, you hit, have to hit the VM key, and it gives you the option of analog CTCSS, digital tone, or off. So analog, digital in, digital out and in, and off. So what we do is uh, turn that off, go back here, hit enter, and then once you go, I don't want a digital tone, I want a regular CTSS tone. Once you get there, then you use the, the channel knob on the top, and I'm using this knob up here that's out of the picture. I can use this if I want to. Use the up-down arrow buttons. And then to hit enter, I don't hit enter, I hit menu, and the arrow on the bottom left goes away, and it's still there, saved in memory. So then we can exit, and I can key up, and of course I'm too far away for the repeater. KC5HWB testing. Yeah, so uh, let's go, I'll show you what the... Uh, hit band and it shows the arrow going in between the three bands and I can key this one up and that is of course the uh, N5 EOC machine here in Grapevine KC5 HWB testing with a new radio that is that let me give you a shot here of the back and show you what I was talking about with the uh, FCC symbol there's the FCC symbol right there that's the stamp this is the serial number that you can look up and then the QR code is right here and right there underneath the QR code, you can't really see it in the camera, it says scan for verification. And it's got a T number right there, two-way radio, T number, such and such. It's saying it's verified. I Maybe it is, maybe it's not. I don't know. I have not looked it up. That is what they're claiming right now. So I expect that as time goes by, there will be a actual FCC number printed on those. That is the TYT tri-band analog th350 so thanks for watching guys this is uh today's short video unboxing and testing the tyt th350 like i said i'm gonna do i'm gonna start doing follow-up videos a month or two after what i'll probably do is take this radio and maybe the uh the btech amp that i have and a couple other radios that i've reviewed in the past and just kind of do a follow-up video to follow up all of them at some point and just say here's my findings after using this for you know a little bit 73s and we'll see you next week